This is Plus TV Africa, where big stories live. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time. I should analyze some of the biggest entertainment stories and trending lifestyle opinions. My name remains Elsie Godwin, and to do the talking and analysis with me, I've got my amazing co anchors, Ife Oluwa Shunke and um, Nimi Dekombi. Hey yeah, guys. what up? What up? Where have you okay. been? You've been <laughs> on Plus Report. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been around. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why are you smiling that way? You, eh? you, you're looking like you've not seen her for a long time. I haven't seen her in a while for oh, yeah, a while. I wasn't feeling her for a while, so... So she looks more beautiful, it. right? Do you? Ah, you're asking questions. I don't look beautiful hey, you. You're already cheating on the film, man. <laughs> She's watching her. No, no, the film is not my girlfriend. Remember she denied me, then you, we, we had to date. Ah, we had to date. You and Elsie? Oh, yeah. wow. She denied me, so... <clears throat> Okay. We're, we're in a complicated relationship. Mm. I see. Mm. This table alone is complicated. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start with Wendy Williams. She announces show break due to symptoms of fatigue surrounding Graves' disease. Um, Variety has learned exclusively that the show will be on break for at least one week, but a return date is yet to be set. Variety explains that Wendy has recently been dealing with symptoms from her Graves' disease, which is causing fatigue. In her, in her consultation with her doctor, and as a precautionary measure, she will be taking some time off as she continues to receive treatment. When this first announcement to her viewers that she was diagnosed um, with the disease, it was in early 2018. Yeah. Mm. I think um, it's a good idea to take a break from the show because... Um, Even though I she's went, been shooting from home, though. Yeah, I went mm. back to watch episodes of Wendy at home and she doesn't look good. I don't know, maybe because... She doesn't do the usual makeup thing, so maybe it's really showing her, her real face. So you're saying her real face doesn't look good? <laughs> no, 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 that's not what I mean. Okay. Like, it's really showing she looked how pale she is. Okay. You get, you know, with the makeup, you can hide a lot of things under that. And when is not a child, though? Yeah, she's actually old. I'm not talking about the wrinkles. I'm not talking about... I'm talking about pale, oh. looking pale, looking sick, looking mm -hmm. down, looking weak, looking fatigued. That's what I mean by the makeup. Don't think too much into it. Really <laughs> <laughs> right. But don't think too much into it. But she wasn't looking that good. And she kept on holding on to her hair, um, hair face every oh, time wow. and all of that. And she was kind of fidgeting. Like, you could tell that this isn't Wendy. Something was wrong. She wasn't doing mm -hmm. that. How you doing? She was just like, how you doing? Like, you could actually tell that the energy was low. Well, that could also be because, you know, normally Wendy is a show that has other people yeah. in the, mm, the, the on-set right. without that. And that other side audience. you mentioned actually so, comes up sometimes when she's not doing like, hmm, how are you doing? Yeah, so it could be the home vibe. Even when no, I don't think it's the home vibe. You can actually tell that this person isn't all right. You can, yeah. yeah, but, yeah. I would but, say that Wendy has been through a lot in the past two, three years, from her divorce to the fact that she had to go to rehab because of her addiction problems. So I'm not surprised that she might not be looking as good because I felt like even the time when she took some time off when she had all those issues I felt like it was not enough I felt like she needed a longer time to take a break and truly get back to who she was oh, money before must be made. <laughs> money must be made but now it's still affecting yeah. her health and she still has to take some time off now so personally I wish that she would take or um take more time off and focus more on herself because the truth is if anything happens to her and she dies when the Williams show is going to be, it's going to be stopped. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's better if she's healthy and at a well, maximum she has plans operation. To stop the show already, though. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to stop um, next year, mm -hmm. right? Okay, I, I really hope she feels better. Even if the show is stopping, we still want to have Wendy around doing her. What, what happened to the movie she was going to release? I was going to say. I'm sure it's still in the works. I feel like she should just settle down into doing more of production. Maybe mm. she should be producing movies and you know doing uh, producing think, other think, shows. She should I just think people need to know when to take a back seat. Yeah, um, that's what I'm saying. Like because uh, we've seen a lot of good um, t television hosts mm -hmm. that they had their own shows, but when it was time for them to leave, they probably put somebody else there. Even though it's a Wendy show, it, you just need to change the name. Just to make sure that your dream for your show mm. still lives still on. Continue. But it takes a long time, though. What? It takes a long time for um, There's this that guy, decision. Norman, that works with her. Norman can take up the show conveniently because Norman knows, like, everything. Like, I think he can complete Wendy's words. Yeah. And it's also, get... it's also like, Daily Show. Daily Show was hosted by somebody else. I can't remember his mm -hmm. name for yeah. the life of me, but then he moved. No, but you know the problem with um, self-named shows? How do you get another Wendy? 
That's the problem. I mean, so, when Wendy is done mm. with the show, Wendy is done. Wendy is done. done. So so done. It's just to create like something just else that will probably look like The Daily Wendy Show, anyone can do it be because it's the Daily Show. Not really. What's the anyone Daily Show with so so Anyone get, can't do it. Before they could before get, you get, get Trevor <laughs> Noah, come on. Hey, when I say anyone, not anyone. I'm saying that you need to get somebody that is that good to do it. Not anyone. But you need to get some. Like, I think I'll fit into if the If you can't, let's not let's, let's, let's direct in some things in life. <laughs> what do you mean I Trevor. can't? Ah, uh, mm. no, you can't. Oh. No Nigerian I'm comedian just... can't. I'm not a comedian like to start with. But what it's a you? comedy show. Mm? What so are you? The Daily Show is a comedy show. So. But, but it's nice. Comedy though. with intelligence. Exactly. exactly. And comedy poise. with intelligence. Which is why I said I'm I'm finesse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's just move on before we start crushing over Trevor from Wendy. Yeah, you do actually. Okay, moving on. Beyonce is accused of unfair treatment in Megan Thee Stallion's Savage remix. Um, many music lovers are not pleased. Um, Beyonce is barely promoting the song on which she is featured while she uses her Instagram account to hype her collaboration with Chloe Ali. People are pressed. Mm. People. I really pressed. If uh, why would you even say people are pressed? You were the one dragging uh, um, Davido that people he does collaboration with don't post him, but when he's whiskey they post. So it is a flex that people. I need didn't say in that. Their... I said people are saying that those are pressed people too. Uh, but mm. no, <laughs> he, he wasn't pressed when he was a Davido and whiskey thing. No, I just said what I mm. saw in the comment section. I did not say what I felt. Oh, yeah. But what about this one, mm. I feel like people are really pressed now. A Megan song, Savage, has, it's been big. We've seen the, um, what's the called now, the challenge, the Savage challenge. challenge. The song is big already. A Beyonce on it only makes it bigger. So such song doesn't really need so much effort doing. Maybe if it was the original version, like it was fresh from the start and then featured the Beyonce and she didn't post it, then maybe we would say that she's not being supportive. But that song was already big. A Beyonce on it is just a plus. Now, these girls are, are artists signed yeah, to a upcoming, record label. Kind of. mm. They are upcoming. No one to knows them. Mm. Yes. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So, if she's doing this, she, she of course she's a businesswoman. She's, she's very strategic. Well, I will pick it from her being a businesswoman. I understand if everything, including what she posts on her page, which of course millions of people are following, has to ha do with business as well. So mm -hmm. she won't just wake up to post anything if her team doesn't get the approval or an agreement that says mm -hmm. um, we've agreed that Beyonce will be putting this on her Instagram, maybe from that angle. And then the arrangement she had with Megan did not include that. Then maybe I will understand. But I still feel like um, a little support is not going to hurt. I mean, Oh. Yeah. I feel like people She's are a being woman, pressed I because I even went on like Beyonce's Instagram page and, and I went through and I was like, okay, maybe she's going to promote her own song. Beyonce doesn't really promote her own Which is why I said stuff. if we're coming from that angle, that's probably yeah. not what the team wants for the Beyonce, page Beyonce's the Beyonce's image is one that she but just drops stuff like a, like a surprise. Yeah, need to repost it. She doesn't really need, I feel personally, I feel like she doesn't really need to Don't say Megan doesn't need reposting. That's the angle some of people are coming from that I don't agree with. It's not about anybody. Everybody needs a little push well even if that push is going to add just one fan to your fan base it is something so if you're saying this is not um beyonce's style then yes i yes, understand it's not if style. that's not her style but saying that megan doesn't need it really i, I think no, but another next. people yeah. are pressed that's, <laughs> Wait, that's our what i feel that's how i feel people are pressed press. chloe and ellie are just starting off in the industry mm. i don't even think the moon dropped i think they're just about to drop their first album their name is so of not, course their name beyonce is, really is going so to support them they are follow do you understand their followers their followers their fans are not as big as i haven't gone to listen as well i think they should change their name to what? I don't know, whatever. They are just sisters now, so yeah. it's a sister duo. And mm -hmm. they've not yet made it like that in the industry. God they are them. still famous. Um, a lot of people still know them as the girls who did Beyonce's cover on their own. They are really, really trying in the pop scene. They are trying to, um, oh, you, you know, you break know into. Them. Of course, yes, they've been this around for a while. Them. This <laughs> around. <laughs> <laughs> they've been around for a while, and I know that they they broke out from doing a cover of Beyonce's song. So Beyonce took them under her wings, and she has been supporting them oh, so this far. Oh, the girl she took. In yes, this is the girl. So of course, it makes sense that she's posting um their work on on her, in, on her Instagram. <laughs> On her Instagram page, and she also posts, you know, Kelly Rowland and even her sister's own. But I've not seen her really post her own music or say, go and stream my music, whether it is on her Twitter or whether it is the on her Instagram. So it's not really something she does for herself, she does it for other people. So you're saying it's not a and besides, she's, so, busy, she's busy searching for Jay Z's daughter. Wow. Jay -Z's. Okay. So. Okay. 
we can agree that it's not a deliberate sabotage. Yeah, I think people but are just pressed. I will also say, if you can, just add more help to your sister. It's not that deep. I'm not angry. Even her I mean, being a collaboration I'm not Megan. Is, Megan. Megan is not complete. Do you understand? So it's not yeah. like it's a big deal. But anyway. Person mm, next. People are just pressed. I dress for it. Yeah. It's time for a quick break. <laughs> 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 but when we come back, we have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I just see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do it. Everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you. Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi like Sleeping early. Sleeping early. Welcome back. Um, in Africa, we beg and pray that our leaders give us things um, we are supposed to be getting for free. We sit at, at home and pray. Oh, Nepa, please bring light. I pray they fix the road. I'm tired of complaining. God has blessed us already. Now it's time for our government to do the needful. Bless your people. And this is coming from Mama Africa. Yemi Alade. Yeah. For me, this just reminds me of what Timidakolo said that um, sometimes, I think it's Timidakolo that said that some, the things that Nigerians pray for are things that in developed Basic nations humanity. they already have it so their prayers are very different from what nigerians pray for in nigeria we are praying for constant light we are praying that god should help us like as we go out the bad roads the insecurity but in developed nations these are things that they already have as as part of you know this the things that their government does for them so in nigeria or even in africa as a whole because i wonder why it's not like sometimes you think that okay maybe it's limited to only nigeria's problem but you look at other african countries and you see that okay, some problems are limited to nigeria some problems are actually limited just to that nigeria. we are the, we are <laughs> We are the supposed to be the giant so, of right, Africa right. and, so and look at our does, situation kind of on, on other African yeah. countries. So it's it's very, very disappointing that even at this point we have to like um we have to beg sort of for some basic things that we expect our government should be able to fix for us. For instance, a lot of people have been clamoring and asking that why is it that the lockdown was eased? Because a lot of people donated you know, relief packages or gave relief funds to the government to help. Some people said the, some of the reliefs were audio. Some people said it was audio, which is, I, I can understand where people are coming from if they say that, because it's even why... difficult to now know if you are believing that it's audio or believing... And then the relief to the government was audio. Was audio, yeah, yeah, because so, there's so like no... That. Because if they really gave the government support, I would expect that there would be more distribution of relief packages to people who are less privileged or even generally because everybody would need it on the long run and there would be no need for us to feel like oh we have to reopen the economy or to reopen um, to and now ease the lockdown um we've overtaken ghana yeah the way things are going it looks like as you know the cases are going to keep on increasing so it begs the question that what exactly is the government doing what exactly is our government doing for us because the truth is even the guidelines that they've given, not everybody is following it. So it's scary at this point because people are people are looking, people are evaluating everything that is happening and asking questions like, what is the point of everything that they've been doing? What is our government doing? They are supposed to stand up and they are supposed to provide things for us, and they are not doing any of that. So I it feels like we have to keep praying for some of the basic things that we should have gotten from our government. Mm, I think COVID nineteen has helped a lot of people give up. On Nigeria, mm -hmm. like it, it was the last straw, you know, mm -hmm. and um, it, it's it's like that. And I, I'm I'm feeling that when this is over and we start flying again, so many people oh, would leave. definitely want to relocate, yeah. you know. And it is sad because I mean I, I don't even like it when we have to discuss um, governments on tea time sure. because I hate discussing politics and the government because um, you are seeing something that is clearly white and black, and then when they bring it to you, it looks like there's a multiple red. layers of black mm -hmm. and red, and I'm, you're wondering so what is going on? I'm I'm, I'm I, facts. I don't know, but I hope we get past this. I hope that we get people who are ready to serve 
as leaders oh, there. I know that it's not going to be um, something that happened once, say mm -hmm. you're flushing everybody out and then you're having, we have to keep infiltrating these people one person at a time, two people, you know, tens in each elections and get to that point where you have people that um, if, if Mr. A is having a conversation on moving the economy forward or making the lives of the people better, he will at least have up to four people to back him up to say, yes, this is what should be done. Yeah. Not when you are one person and you are there and you're saying you want to make a change. It's going to be yeah. extremely difficult because we, ha we are running a democratic government where there are rules. There, you have to put everything to vote. You have yeah. to check out the inputs of everybody and be able to convince others that the good you want to do for people is a good. <laughs> you know, yeah. so it's a big deal. And I just hope that we, this generation, will be able to experience it. I'm, I'm kind of losing hope as well. But we'll see like I keep saying, I'm tired of the complaining here and there. What I think celebrities should do is just my simple thought is that they shouldn't stand alone when they come to come and start saying, oh, this is what the government should do. I think there should be an association of celebrities that are involved, that are interested in politics, in change. Let them mm. all come together and there use... There are a couple of them, though. Yeah. There's more yeah. Yeah. Is no, 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 the ones that are... In exactly. So let's put out a body and let's put out a unified... Um, taught mm. to the government, like when Yemi Alade is posting this, let it come from the body, let it be supported, let it be retweeted by all of them. Maybe they And not just, just that as well, they go, they go a little further to be involved in policy amendments Change and um, creations as well. I don't know, I get where you're coming from, but I feel like our, our celebrities are disconnected. I'm, I'm, exactly. I'm, I I'm of the opinion that you cannot force anyone to become an activist True. or to, As be, I said, the or, to do, or to do charity or to go that far. But if they are going to come out in clusters to um, talk about the government, then maybe they should also sit down to ask themselves um, what they are doing to better the economy or the Those society. The so we have space. COVID. As much as um, we know that um, corruption trickles down, you can see the efforts these people are doing. If not for COVID and let's say the um, corporate sector, we won't have the, the really nice isolation center we got at Oniko. That's mm -hmm. the first one that happened and GTB was a, a, a major um, key player in yeah, that so. area. So um, and we're seeing what our celebrities outside the shores of Africa are doing, even in Africa. So you see what this guy, is it Caspar Invest, mm. was doing for South Africa? Mm -hmm. What exactly is our celebrities doing aside giveaway on social media? Giveaway is nice. I it is. I, but I think, no, but I think no, it's an easy, yeah. easy way to, to try to plaster something that looks like a solution to a problem, but that's not really a solution. Because somebody like Bonabo is coming out to tell us that he has, they, they mistakenly quoted 3.5 billion that he's been working on that. You know, so what exactly, what exactly are people that are following you and shouting African giant and all that, sure. what platform, what initiative you, have you even tried to create, to use your platform? I mean, Bonaboy is big. Anybody that wants to downplay that is just deceiving him or herself. He's a big deal. If the passion he has put into this, his last album and how he talks about Nigeria and how he talks about representing Africa, if he puts that into creating a platform, he doesn't even need to spend his money. He will get grants. He will do a lot. Are they thinking towards this angle or is he just coming to tweet? If the poor man or ordinary man can make research and tweet, why not you take it a, a step further? But like I said earlier, they don't owe us anything if they don't want to do it. But sure. we need to start thinking about where we live and how we can move forward for ourselves. That's how I feel about it. Yeah, I agree. Totally agree. Totally agree. Okay, moving on. There is a huge gap between education in Africa and America. This is coming from Stella Damasos. I'm reminiscing on a conversation between herself and daughter. She said, and I quote, I know that I am smart, but the way she talks about these things based on her studies and research shows me a huge gap between the way we were taught in Africa and the way they are taught in America. They are able to get them so interested in these subjects that these kids go real deep into research, arguments, articles, discussions, and so on. The boldness with which they are taught to defend their findings still amazes me. I pray that one day African children in Africa will be taught to research and know not just to pass. I pray that they will rise and take their place. End of quote. I think um, the same subject matter. 
What? Yeah. We're still in the same subject. Yeah, but I think, um, no, it's the same subject matter because um, obviously education is not well looked after in, in this part of the world. And apart from that, um, a lot of people, a lot of teachers are not even properly taken care of to even start with. Mm. And then when you get into the classrooms, they'll tell you they don't even have resources to go on certain excursions that will make them see these things you're teaching them about. Like you're teaching me about history, you're teaching me about, I, I've never seen the place before. But over there, the moment That's they're teaching- they've not demolished the place you want to take it. <laughs> but over there, the moment they're talking about it, they're probably showing you or they even, even if they can't take you there, you probably see an hologram in the classroom showing you that this is how it is. This is. If so you're going for a hologram, <laughs> let's be let's be realistic in this no, realistic no, in this no. conversation. No, no, that's in Nigeria, but it's it is a reality in other places. Mm, I said right? be realistic in your reality. No, I'm just saying that <laughs> obviously that is what would lead to the difference, the big gap in mm. education. But aside that, I also think it's a factor of um, the teachers and how they also try to interact. It's so, true. and you cannot give what you don't have. So, mm -hmm. how are you training them? What are you making them understand? Are they seeing them, themselves as people that are supposed to guide the children or people that are supposed to lord over the children? A lot of them don't Do they even understand know. what they are teaching? Go back to our curriculum. Exactly. What is in the curriculum? We are way. That's what I wanted to say. A lot of them it's, don't it's, even, it's beyond even the a teachers. A lot of them don't mm. even know how to have a conversation with students hmm. to even start with. They feel like it is by shouting or whipping out your cane. It's not about that. Sometimes you just need to speak to this. They're human. They can understand you. Like, just speak and let them understand. Like she said, the way the educational system in Nigeria is built structured. or structured, it's not one where it encourages learning it's not one that encourages you researching the facts it's not one that encourages, it encourages you, you read to pass that is just what as somebody who just graduated from university i can count the amount of times i personally on my own i'll try to maybe because because i studied microbiology out of like interest okay. Out of interest, I want to be like, okay, let me research further than the materials they've given us in class. Let me learn more about this particular microorganism. And then when you write the exam, you realize that you did a lot. In fact, when you wrote it, you wrote, like, you did research. And then when the results come out, you start hearing things from the professor saying that if you did not write it, if, if what you the wrote in the exam the was, not the was not what was in the material that was given to you, then you are going to fail wow. that course. So the way the whole educational system is structured is one that does not encourage it learning. It does not you you understand. Table, you are so frustrated. You just want to that, pass. Have they sat down to ask themselves why the same youths that you say are lazy go are to up to other no countries? Once they step out, you are even going. Don't even talk on. of Western. Just go to Ghana already. Come on. You see them having their A's and having the best grades in and class. They, so they are innovative. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Have I, you asked yourself what the problem is? The educational system is not supporting. It does not support all. innovation. It, it does not support creativity. It just supports following the it's status quo. Whatever it is that you are well. giving, give it back. So, of course, if you compare then, a student, a, a, a student that just graduated from secondary school in Nigeria to one that just graduated from secondary school in America, there will be a huge difference in the quality of research. The, the person that's graduated in Nigeria just knows how to give it. And give at that you point, they are very up. clear with what they want. They to want. Do they with know their what they want to do with their lives. So when they are going to university, they are not going to learn something that after four years you're not like oh i want to do another course most of them already know what it is they want to do out there they focus on interest mm. they know what yeah. you're interested in so they put you where you fit in but here is like most parents even Unless make the school. decisions just yeah. go to school and just get go it to science class because you, you did not pass jam and um, you didn't get the cut off mark for law you are studying mm. uh food and nutrition yeah. do you understand like come on let's let's and just it's, get it it's right. another reason why i worry for those that have learning disabilities in nigeria because the way the um, the system, like I said, has been structured, it's not one that encourages. It's not like it's a one size fits all. all. So it's not like oh, let me cater to your specific need. Let me um, cater this and uh, let me cut this um, the the system Nigeria, to fit you. We have a long way to so go. It, it, Unfortunately, it, it, we don't have too much time to dwell yeah. on um, Nigeria. So that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and send your opinions via WhatsApp to zero nine zero six thousand five seven one nine or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. My thank you as always to go to my amazing co-anchors Ife Uluwa Shokaya and Nimi Dekomvi and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name remains Elsie Godwin. Do stay safe. Thank you.